There are nine stories in Stone Mattress. The subtitle is uh, Nine Wicked Tales. So they all have a, an element of the bizarre. Let's put it that way. The short story form, as opposed to the novel, the main thing to say about that is they're shorter. <laughs> in my book, there's nine tales, seven of which are definitely Toronto. The first uh, trio of stories starts out with the ice storm that we had a couple of years ago in Toronto, <laughs> the Toronto ice storm, and moves back in time to the days of the river boat in Yorkville, so early 60s. All three of the characters in those stories have been associated with that riverboat and we're picking them up again at the time of the ice storm. My feelings towards Toronto have changed over time, <laughs> just as Toronto itself has changed over time. So it has changed from being a rather small, puritanical, um, nothing happened on Sunday, uh, rather Protestant-dominated uh, enclave in the, say, 50s, 40s, 50s, into what it is now, which is sort of a very cosmopolitan uh, place, which, according to the United Nations, has people from more different countries in it than any other city in the world. That's quite a transformation. I have to say that when I started as a writer, it was considered radical to write about Toronto, as I did in my first book called The Edible Woman, because where was Toronto? I mean, shouldn't you be writing about London or Paris or New York or someplace really interesting? <laughs> but often you find the really interesting things in places that other people don't think are really interesting. <laughs>